Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. This week I've been in Singapore for work, so I took the opportunity over the weekend to visit the SEA Aquarium on Santosa Island in Singapore. As most people in the marine fish tank and reefing hobby know, once you have an eye for reef tanks, coral, fish and unfortunately pests, the splendour of a public aquarium is often lost on us and unfortunately most of them do not cater to the standards of a trained eye in the reefing scene but instead aim more so to the general public and as an educational avenue for children. The Singapore SEA Aquarium, on the other hand, manages to be all things to all people. I was blown away with the quality, diversity and impeccably curated offerings that the many, many display tanks here were able to show. Entering the aquarium, you're greeted with these massive tanks filled with huge sharks and predators. The scale of these tanks is truly hard to capture. The artificial wreck in this tank is full size to give you some context. Whilst impressive, this initial impression walking through the opening areas of the aquarium and the glass tunnel is a typical experience that many public aquariums will offer, maybe not as big as this one, and it gives no hints as to the diversity of what is to come. Here we have some absolutely massive moray eels of various types. And this tank was full of these beautiful sea fans and various soft corals. The next area consists of an artificial reef where I didn't immediately hate the fact that it has fake corals in it. It's been designed and thoughtfully put together by people who truly understand and know what a real reef looks like. And from a distance, it looks real. Around the corner, we came to something that truly surprised me. A full LPS display under heavy blues packed with a massive variety of exotic LPS. I wish I'd brought an orange lens filter with me to properly show you the colours of the coral in this tank. The next corner yielded what in my opinion is the most amazing full SPS display I have ever seen. I certainly did not expect to see something of this calibre in a public aquarium. I'm not even able to begin to name all of the SPS species in this tank, but what I can say is I stood in front of this tank for nearly an hour and I feel like I didn't see everything that this tank has to offer. On top of the obvious extremely well stocked and varied corals, what struck me is how well maintained and how pest free the tank is. I didn't see a single aptasia, not one dead coral, no algae anywhere, no visible glue or putty. Almost everything was established and showed significant basing. The coralline coverage alone is evidence of multiple years of stable growth that this tank has enjoyed. As you can tell, for a tank of this size, its fish stocking is on the light side. There's certainly a lot of fish, but with a focus on wrasse, smaller tangs and anthias, as well as other smaller reef safe fish. The focus of this tank is clearly the wall to wall amazing SPS. I would love to be able to see behind the scenes to see how they dose, filter, light and maintain an SPS tank of this size.
I did actually get to see how they clean the front glass. It looks like a giant window cleaning mop. Whatever works, right? What came next were a series of tanks dedicated to different regional biomes of coral families, like this tank, which is full of leathers and softies. Or this amazing full non-photosynthetic tank, which they called the Corals of Twilight. Tons of sea fans, cyphastria and dendrophilia. The polyp extension on the sun corals was unreal. I suspect this tank was being supplied with a constant live phytoplankton supply. Given its size and the amount of NPS coral, I can only imagine the challenges that they've had with water quality. I would love to know how they do it. Again, not a single Aptasia, algae or pest was in sight. Freshwater tropical displays were pretty amazing too. These are brightly coloured poison arrow frogs. The regional saltwater displays consisted of a Caribbean reef, a large display that was devoted to bumphead parrotfish, A California kelp forest tank complete with some super bright and unusual anemones. Australia's leafy sea dragons featured their own tank as well. There was a cave biome tank with lots of soldier fish and lobsters. And this Red Sea themed tank had a dazzling assortment of scrolling Montipora and similar corals. The scale of this tank was truly hard to grasp. That panel must be in order of 15 meters wide.
jellyfish exhibits were really fun as well. The Moon Jelly Tank had some awesome RGB disco vibes going on. Imagine having this in your house. Another aspect of this aquarium I found impressive was the comprehensiveness of their digital displays. If you took the time to read them, they would cycle through basically all of the marine life present in each one of their respective tanks. The reef wall tank was currently under maintenance and it gave some insight as to how they do it. This clownfish and anemone tank must have had over a hundred clownfish in it but they were difficult to spot given the vast size and quantity of the bubble tip anemones that were present. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the SEA Aquarium in Singapore. If you're ever in Singapore, I strongly recommend taking the time to come and check it out. It's well worth the price of entry. I know this video was a bit different to my regular content. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it and if you want to see more of this kind of content or you have ideas for future videos. So get subscribed for any notifications on my future videos. My name is Marcus and you've been watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.